Hello, this is Aaron Marmot. Um, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on Subtractive EQ. Um, this is one of my band's pieces and we're going to be looking at the kick drum in um, in particular. So, okay, let's just highlight this little section and listen to the kick drum here. This is it, completely untreated. So as you can hear, yeah, it's very much untreated. Um, so let's get ourselves an EQ. Okay, the first thing I like to do is look at the analyzer and see like where there are certain peaks in the sound. Let's turn it up a little bit. Okay. okay, the way we work out what EQs we're going to drop is basically grabbing an EQ band and then sweeping like that to find the problem um, to find the problem frequency. So let's have a listen quickly. Okay. So you can hear it's particularly resonating at the 500. So. What we do now is literally just drop that frequency out and have a listen. Okay, so let's compare. Bypass. You can hear there's less resonation. It's kind of starting to isolate the sound a little bit. Let's do it again for another frequency. Again, we're going to sweep. So again, at just above 200, we found it resonates, so we drop that frequency. Now have a listen. Sounds a lot tighter now. And then generally for something like a bass drum, or a kick drum, it doesn't really have a lot of high mids in it except for the click, so we can afford to drop some of those out as well. So let's see where it resonates again. Reckon about there. Drop that. Make this one quite wide though, because it doesn't really have too much frequency where you see. Most of the frequency comes in the bass end rather than the trebles. Okay, and compare. You can hear that it sounds a lot better, a lot more isolated, a lot tighter. And um, basically, yeah, this gonna be be applied to any instrument and I think it's a fantastic way of EQing because basically it drops out certain frequencies and it gives you a lot more space in your mix so there's less overlapping frequencies. If you do it across every single instrument that you can that you find there is um, these resonating frequencies you'll find your mixes will have a lot more space. Okay, um, thank you very much. That was Subtractive EQ on a kick drum.